Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my monthly pan that sign video that I do in collaboration with my good friend Lisa from Banning Panning and Beyond. We're, we're a little late with August's uh, collab video. Just life is busy. I mean, what, what can I say? Everybody gets it. So this stems from a project that was created over on Instagram by Elise, Adesia, and Nisha. And every month they put together a four color color story for each of the zodiac signs. And then you build a palette out of your singles with that color story as inspiration and just use it for the month. It's not to hit pan or finish things or anything like that. It's just to get use out of the singles in your collection. So I, I convinced Lisa to join this project with me and every month We've been doing this collab video where we actually have a spreadsheet of the singles that we have in common and we as best we can like every once in a while we have a harder time but for the most part we can create a full custom palette using shades that we both own so this month is leo and leos are very fiery and so it's a very warm, oops, warm, just ignore these, but it's a very warm color story. So that is the 12 pan that we came up with, but we also both own, a, I own, I would say a decent number of Super Shocks. Lisa owns a lot more than me, but we both want to start getting use out of our Super Shocks. So we also are bringing in four Super Shocks to complement our custom palette. Going down, let's see if I can remember what all of these are. So this is Colourpop Sandbar, this is Enchanted Luster Cosmetics Cockatrice, this is Luxie Bubblegum, this is Colourpop Stay Golden, Divina Cygnus, right? Yes. Divina Cygnus, Terra Moons Astral. This is, what shade is this? like early morning or something. This is one of the glitters from the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. This is Orange Slush from Cindy Grace. Which one is this one? This is this one is Burn from Pretties for Your Face. <sighs> you think I would remember what these are. This is, funnily enough, Capricorn from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. This one, this is Tower of Terror from Copacetic Cosmetics. And this, I think this is bratty, right? Yep. And this one is bratty from ColourPop. And then as far as Super Shacks go, we settled on 6 a.m. I think this one is broken, so I have to make sure it doesn't fall out. Muse. Sidekick. and ratio. So those are the shades that we're working with and we usually try to come up with like a, a fun little challenge or something different so it's not just oh we're doing a an eye look. I don't know. So <laughs> so this month we decided we're going to pick one shade from each column and then one super shock and do our look with that and we can pick whatever we want. We don't have to pick the same shades, just one from each column. So I'm not quite sure. I think I really want to use, I don't think I've ever used this Capricorn shade before. So I really want to use that one. Then what do I want to do? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I think I think I know kind of what I want to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get started. And while I do my eye look, I told Lisa she tagged me in a 21 question makeup tag. So I will do that as I do my eyes. Hopefully, I'll try. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, well, here, I think I figured out what I'm going to do as far as my eye look. So I'll like 
I'll tell you really quick and then I'll get into it so I don't have to keep like stopping. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to, I'm going to do sandbar in my crease. Then I'm going to take, and again, I have to be really careful of this because the pan is loose. And then I'm going to take Muse and deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to do orange slush on the outer corner. I'm going to do Capricorn over most of my lid and then Astral for my inner corner. And I'll probably do orange slush on my lower lash line as well. So that's my plan. So I'm going to start that. And I'm going to try to do this and the 21 questions makeup tag at the same time. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, question one. What is the oldest makeup product in your collection? No question about it. It is my Maybelline Master Glaze blush that is in my Panners Pan project. That thing is probably... God, I think I bought it before I moved out of my parents' house. So it's probably like... 12 or 13 years old. It still works though. Number two, what is your most recent makeup purchase? Well, if you're talking about makeup purchase that I actually physically have, it's probably the Revolution. I bought the Revolution like glass skin primer or something because I was really interested in it. If you're talking about the actual last thing I bought, whether I have it it has arrived to me or not, it would be, I picked up some more Cleona shadows during their five year anniversary sale. So that was my latest order. What is the first makeup product you ever used? I'm not sure exactly, but I guarantee it was something from Avon because my grandma used to get Avon catalogs from her friend and Besides her buying the makeup, sometimes she would let us buy it. Like she would buy some stuff for us as well. So I'm guessing probably like, like a lip product from Avon or something like that. For what is a makeup trend that you used to love but now hate? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't follow makeup trends like that. So I just do whatever I want. <laughs> so I don't know. Number five, what is a makeup trend that you used to hate but now love? I mean, I I won't say it's a trend so much as something that I do now that I didn't used to do, and that's my brows. Like, I never, because I have pretty thick, pronounced brows anyway, so I never felt like I needed to do them, but even if you have brows like me, you should probably, like, I'm not going to say probably, you can do whatever you want, but... I think they look a little more well kept now that I actually do my brows. Six, what is your favorite step in your makeup routine? Obviously eyeshadow. What is a makeup product you can't live without? Again, eyeshadow because it's just the best and I love it. Uh, what sparked your love for makeup? I It was kind, it's kind of two things. One was just kind of stumbling upon the beauty community in general on YouTube and the panning community. And two, like after my son was born, I was, I, I probably had PPD, even though I would at the time say that I didn't, but I was very down on myself and I didn't like how I looked and everything and I started using makeup as a way to make me feel better about myself and regain some of my confidence and I just it just it just grew from there what is the worst makeup look you've ever done probably anything that I did when I first started doing makeup and fortunately for me unfortunately for the rest of you I do not have pictures of any of those looks anymore what is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? Almost anything that I post on my Instagram is something that I really like. Nothing really like stands out to me 100% as my favorite because I I just, when I do like colorful and sparkly, those are my favorite types of looks. So, um, 
What is your favorite drugstore makeup product? That would be my e.l.f. Um, what's it called? The e.l.f. Setting Powder in Fair. I love that stuff and it's only six dollars. So it's, it's cheap and it works really well and I like it. Um, what is your favorite splurge makeup product? My Cleona Shadows. What is your most repurchased makeup product? That, that would definitely be the e.l.f. powders, the e.l.f. makeup mist and set because I use that to foil my eyeshadows. Speaking of which, I need to get that out because I need to foil this. I have no room. I mean, those are the big ones that I've repurchased over and over and over. Speaking of, this is one, this one is almost done too. I have another one waiting in the wings. What is your earliest makeup memory? Probably like being a young child, a youngin with my sister and playing with my grandma's like lipsticks and stuff when we played dress up at her house. What is your favorite place to shop for makeup? Like store, Ulta, definitely. I like the mixture of like higher end, mid range and drugstore. I like their rewards points system. But like generally my favorite place to buy makeup is from indie makeup brands because they just, I mean, for the most part, they're doing it right. They're much more interesting than drugstore and higher end usually are and that's the majority of my collection right now. My eyeshadow collection at least, at the very least is like indie stuff. What is the most underrated makeup product you own? I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll say, again, I'll say those e.l.f. powders. Cause I also use the uh, translucent powder as a, like a first step before I put my primer on. And I think that's pretty underrated. I don't think that's a step most people do. And I think doing that and then spraying your face and then putting on primer is pretty, oh my God, this is beautiful, is pretty um, underrated because I don't see a lot of people who do that. What is the most overrated makeup product you own? I might get some flack for this because, well, I do really like them. I've at least, God, I'm going to do this again. The purple, the first light, I don't know. That Becca primer, I, I do like it, but I don't, I like the backlight more. I think it's, for that amount of money, I just think it's a little bit overrated for what it is, but it's still a good product. What is a discontinued makeup product that you wish would come back? Well, obviously it is the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette because even, even though I have the palette and I have, I purchased backups of all of the metallic shades in that palette when they had them on sale as singles. So I have all of those as well. But, and I'm, I'm still gonna like pan Maybe not entirely, but I'm still going to use that palette and I'm still going to pan shades in it. But I just, I wish that once I used it, I could, I could buy it again because I really love it. It is amazing. Where do you go for makeup inspiration? I don't like nowhere really, I guess. I don't really look to see what other people are doing. I just kind of do whatever I want to do. So, I mean, otherwise, mainly just Instagram. Like, I look at people's stuff on Instagram, but I'm just not into the super editorial looks like that. I just, that's not my style. I like color, obviously, but editorial is just not, it's not me. 
what do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? I hope to see less neutrals. Sorry, everybody who likes neutrals. But we have five million and one neutral palettes. We don't need any more. And brands like KKW and Tarte and Too Faced who just release basically the same palette over and over and over and it's always a neutral palette. I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> Not gonna buy any of them anyway, but still, I mean, it'd be nice to have a little more color in the makeup mainly eyeshadow world but and then 21 what do you hope to see more of in makeup's future i hope to see more more inclusion and i think lisa said the same thing and obviously i am not speaking from a place of exclusion because i am a white woman and most of the makeup that is produced in today's market is geared towards me but that doesn't mean that I that I or people who look like me are the only ones who buy makeup and I, like some of my favorite makeup products are from brands owned by women of color so I just I think especially the big the big brands, they need to step it up and realize this is 2021, you know, black people, people of color, indigenous people, people who aren't lily white, they wear makeup too and they want to buy it. So make it for them. Okay, rant over. <laughs> but this is how my eyes are looking before I get liner and mascara on. And I am actually, I'm very pleased with the way this turned out because it's very, very bright and shiny and ooh, it just looks good. So I am going to do liner and mascara and my lips and then I will be right back. Okay, this is the finished look. I used a copper eyeliner in my lower waterline, a brown in my upper waterline. I, d I didn't do any wings or anything, but I just lined with black, with brown liquid liner. And thankfully you can't tell because I'm not close enough but I effed it up because I did the liquid liner and then I was like oh I still have to set my face so I sprayed my face and now it's just kind of it's a mess so I'm just kind of hoping that uh whatever it, it's fine what are you gonna do I don't know but anyway I love 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 this look i that enchanted luster shadow the capricorn oh my god it's so bright and everything just it's just very summery and i love it so i'm very curious to see what shades that lisa chose and i'm not going to tag anybody specific in the 21 makeup questions tag if you think it sounds fun and it's something that you want to do just let me know so that I can check out your answers but other than that I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and having a great day or night and I will talk to you in the next one